بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر گڈ آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اوور سیونتھ لیسن آف انگلش سو دا مٹیریل ریکوائرڈ فار دس لیسن از لیڈ پینسل شارپنر ایریزر انگلش ٹیکسٹ بک اینڈ اے رولر آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو ہیو کلیکٹڈ آل دیز تھنگس اینڈ یو آر ریڈی فار دا لیسن Now here is a recapitulation of our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we have learnt the use of was and were. And we have also learnt BR, CR, GR and PR words. I hope that now it's clear. So let's move towards our today's lesson. In our today's lesson, we will do unit number 15. Ali's favorite hobby from your English textbook. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to learn and identify words meanings, words opposites, and they will also learn new words ending in ch. Now open page number 120 of your English textbook and write day date and today's task on top of the page. Also underline the day date and today's task. Your writing should be neat. So let's start. Now here is a warm up exercise for you. Teacher, what you like to do when you have free time? Now here are three options. Option A, play. Option B, watch TV. And option C, read a story book. Okay dear kids, now if you like to play, then put a tick on play. If you like to watch TV, then put a tick on watch TV. And if you like to read a story book, then put a tick on it. In our today's lesson, we will read about Ali's favorite hobby. So firstly, we will discuss that what is a hobby. Dear kids, a hobby is an activity that you enjoy doing in your spare time. For example, swimming. Gardening, cooking, singing, art, scrapbooking, horse riding, etc. Let's read. Ali's favorite hobby is collecting shells and pebbles. He goes for long walks along the beach with his father. He stops and picks up shells. Dear kids, favorite ka matlab hota hai. पसंदीदा कलेक्टिंग का मतलब होता है जमा करना पेबल्स का मतलब होता है कंकर पिकअप का मतलब होता है उठाना प्यारे बच्चों अली का पसंदीदा मशगला शेल और कंकरियां जमा करना है वो अपने फादर के साथ साहिल समंदर पर लंबी सैर के लिए जाता है वो साहिल समंदर पर रुक जाता है और शेल्स उठाता है लेट्स रीड द सेकंड पैराग्राफ नो शेल इज लाइक द अदर सम हैव स्ट्राइप्स सम हैव मेनी कलर्स सम आर व्हाइट सम आर पिंक सम आर ग्रे पेबल्स आर आल्सो नॉट लाइक ईच अदर सम आर राउंड सम आर oval some are very small dear kids koi shell ek dusre ki tarah nahi hota kuch mein patiyan hoti hain kuch ke bahut se rang hote hain kuch safed hote hain kuch pink hote hain aur kuch grey hote hain pebbles bhi ek dusre ki tarah nahi hote kuch gol hote hain कुछ ओवल होते हैं और कुछ बहुत छोटे होते हैं लेट्स रीड द थर्ड पैराग्राफ अली हैज 95 फाइव शेल एंड मैनी मैनी पेबल्स ही कैन नॉट काउंट दैम डू यू नो वट आ हॉबी इज इट इज वट यू लाइक डूइंग वेन यू आर फ्री नो होमवर्क टू फिनिश नो लेसन टू लर्न Okay dear kids now i will ask you a question 
How many shells does Ali have? Yes, Ali has 95 shells. Now open page number 121 of your English textbook and write today's task on it. Now here are the meanings of some difficult words. Your first word is favorite. Favorite ka matlab hota hai pasandida. And the synonym of favorite is liked most. Your second word is collecting. Collecting means jama karna. And the synonym of collecting is getting something from several places. Your third word is hobby. Hobby means shock, mashkala. And the synonym of hobby is activity done for pleasure. Your fourth word is shell. Shell means a hard outer covering of something, nuts or eggs. Your fifth word is Pebbles. Pebbles means conquer and the synonym of pebbles is small, smooth stones. And your last word is stripes. Stripes means lines on the body. Now here are some word opposites for you. Your first word is long. Long means lamba and the opposite of long is Short. Your second word is picks. Picks means uthana and the opposite of picks is throws. Your third word is many. Many means bohat and the opposite of many is few. Your fourth word is like. Like means ek jesa and the opposite of like is unlike. Your last word is finish. Finish means khatam. And the opposite of finish is start. Okay dear kids, now we will do question answers. Let's read the statement. Answer the following questions. Question number one. What is Ali's favorite hobby? Okay dear kids, now think about it. That what will be the answer? Yes. It is collecting shells and pebbles. Question number two. Who takes Ali for a walk along the beach? Now think about it. That what will be the answer? Yes, his father takes him for a walk along the beach. Question number three. Where does he find the shells? Now think about it. That what will be the answer? Yes. He finds the shells on the beach. Question number four. What do the shells look like? Now think about it. That what will be the answer? Yes. The answer is shells are not same. They are of different colors and shapes. Let's read the fifth question. How many shells does Ali have? Now think about it. That will, what will be the answer? Yes, he has 95 shells. Now open page number 122 of your English textbook and write today's task on it. Your sixth question is, why does Ali not know? How many pebbles he has? Okay, dear kids, now think about it. What will be the answer? Yes, the answer is he cannot count them. Let's do part B. Take the correct answer. Let's read the first statement. Ali likes option A, collecting pebbles. Option B, Collecting shells and pebbles. Option C. Buying stamps. Okay dear kids. Now think about it. That what will be the correct answer? Yes. The correct answer is collecting shells and pebbles. So put a tick on collecting shells and pebbles. 
Let's read the second statement. He goes for long walks with his option A, friends, option B, teacher, option C, father. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is father. So put a tick on father. Let's read the third statement. Shells have option A, different shapes, option B, different colors, option C, both A and B. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is both A and B. So put a tick on both A and B. Let's read the fourth statement. A hobby is option A, homework given by the teacher. Option B, something done in your free time for fun. Option C, duties to be done at home. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is something done in your free time for fun. So put a tick on option B. Let's read the fifth statement. All pebbles are option A, round, option B, same size, option C, not like each other. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is not like each other. So put a tick on option C. Okay, dear kids, now here is an activity for you. Find five of the words in the box below and color them. The words given in the pink box are other, white, some, many, no, you, and are. Okay, dear kids, your first word is other. Now find it in the given grid. Have you found it? Yes. Now color it. Now find any five words like this and color them. Now open page number 123 of your English textbook and write today's task on it. Now here is a listening and speaking task. Let's read the statement. Listen and speak aloud. Let's read the words given in the first line. The words given in the first line are each, beach, leech, reach, teach. The words given in the second line are breach, preach, preach, speech and beseech. Okay, dear kids, let's learn grammar. A conjunction is a word which is used to connect words or sentences. Dear kids, conjunction is a word ko kaha jata hai, jo ke do words ya sentences ko jodne ke liye istamal kiya jata hai. For example, his words were polite but loud. Dear kids, Yahan par but, polite or loud ko aapas mein jodne ke liye istamal kiya gaya hai. Let's read the second example. I want to eat chicken and rice for lunch. Dear kids, second example mein and conjunction hai kyunke isse chicken or rice ko connect karne ke liye istamal kiya gaya hai. Let's read the third example. I will not go until the game has finished. Dear kids, yaha par until conjunction hai kyunke isse do sentences ko connect karne ke liye istamal kiya gaya hai. Okay dear kids, now we will do fill in the blanks. Let's read the statement. Fill in the blanks with words from the pink box. The words given 
in the pink box are or, although, because, since and while. Let's read the first statement. It had been raining. Dash, I got back from Islamabad. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will come here? Yes, since will come here. So write since in the given blank. Now read the second statement. She took the lift. Dash, I took the stairs. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will come here? Yes. While will come here. So write while in the given blank. Now read the third statement. Haris must get dressed. Dash he will get late. Okay dear kids. Now think about it. That what will come here? Yes. Aldo will come here. So write Aldo in the given blank. Now read the fourth statement. Farhan was shivering. Dash, it was getting chilly. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will come here? Yes, because will come here. So write because in the given blank. Now read the last statement. I will be there. Dash, I might be late. Okay, dear kids, now think about it. That what will come here? Yes, or will come here. So write or. In the given blank. Now open page number 124 of your English textbook and write today's task on it. Now here is a listening task for you. I will read out a very short passage. Listen carefully and then answer the following questions. Samir has a big cupboard full of toys. The toy he likes the most is his clockwork train. The oldest toy is a teddy bear. His mother gave it to him on his first birthday. Ok dear kids, now answer the questions. Your first question is, where does Smeed keep his toys? Ok, now tell me the answer. Yes, the answer is, he keeps his toys in a cupboard. Your second question is, which toy does he like the best? Ok dear kids, now tell me the answer. Yes, the answer is, clockwork train. Your third question is, name his oldest toy. Yes, the answer is, teddy bear. Your fourth question is, who gave it to him? Now think about it. What will be the answer? Yes, the answer is, his mother gave it to him. Your fifth question is, when did the person give toy to him? Now think about it. What will be the answer? Yes, on his first birthday. Now here is, a speaking task for you. Let's read the statement. School is over. You want to know what your friend Vakas is going to do in the evening. Ask your friend questions using the following action words. The words given in the pink box are doing, laughing, writing, going and buying. Dear kids, action words Simply express an action. These include sleeping, writing, reading, jumping, running, etc. Dear kids, you can ask your friend that what are you doing in the evening, Vakas? And Vakas can say, I am doing my homework. Now continue the conversation using the ing words. You will ask questions and your friend will answer them. Now open page number 125 of your English textbook and write today's task on it. Now here is 
a writing task for you. Write five sentences about your favorite hobby. What do you like to do besides your daily work? You can also take help from the words in the pink box. The words given in the pink box are play a game, watch TV, collect stamps and coins, paste pictures in my scrapbook. Okay dear kids, if your favorite hobby is to play a game, then write five sentences about it. If your favorite hobby is to watch TV, then write five sentences about it. If your favorite hobby is to collect stamps and coins, then write five sentences about it. If your favorite hobby is to paste pictures in your scrapbook, then write five sentences about it. Okay dear kids, now it's activity time. Ant schools maze game. Help little ant find his school. Now find a way for the little ant to find his school. Okay dear kids, your today's task is read page number 120 of your English textbook. And also do page number 121, 122, 123, 124 and 125 of your English textbook. I hope you enjoyed our today's lesson. We will meet again. Till then. Take care. Allah Hafiz.